So first, let's talk about the SSD. It's called single shot, multi-box detections. So the idea is pretty simple. So the major difference between RCN and SSD is that how the bounded box are generated. In the RCN family, we have a fancy algorithm to how to generate the bounded box so that we want to have the bounded box cover as much as possible. For SSD, it is much simpler. So here, for SSD, for each pixel, we're going to generate multiple bond, uh, anchor boxes and center them at this pixel. And the multi means we give different size, different shape, different ratio. For example, if we give n sizes from S1 to Sn and m ratios from R, R1 to Rm, so size means the relative size to the original image. The ratio is the width uh, with uh, height. So then the idea here is generate n plus m minus 1 anchor boxes. So it's not about n times m. It's n plus m minus 1. The way how it generates, uh, generate anchor boxes is first to pick the first ratio, R1, and then change the size for S1 to Sn. So this is for the uh, first n boxes. And then we're going to fix S1. This is the sh uh, size, and then change the ratio from 1, um, R2, and actually R1 we already have from R2 to Rm. So in total, we have n plus m minus 1. The reason why we don't want to do n plus n, which means given any shape, any ratio, uh, any size, and any ratio, we generate one anchor boxes. That's because it maybe give you too much. Like if you pick n equal to 10, m equal to 10, it give, give you 100 anchor boxes. So, which means 100 uh, anchor boxes for every pixel. If it's 100 by 100 image, you get 10K pixels, another 10K uh, anchor boxes, then you just uh, run <laughs> out of memory. So, okay, this is a trade-off. We just, uh, we want to vary uh, the size and the vary the ratio, and we generate the linear combination of it. Okay, so that's, uh, then the whole model is like, like this one. So we first give an image. We fit into the base network. The base network do a feature extraction. Like uh, you can choose SSD, uh, you can choose ResNet, you can choose anyone as the base network. Then the base network, we are not output a tiny one. It kind of output, give you output like a 32 by 32 feature map. And then given this feature map, we generate the anchor boxes. And for each anchor box, we're going to do a category prediction and a bounded box prediction. The other thing here we call multi-box or multi-scale is like the base network give you maybe 32 by 32 feature map and can further have the width and, uh, the width and the height. And then either on the reduce the feature map, I'm going to generate another uh, bunch of anchor boxes and then do another category prediction and a bounded box prediction. I do multiple times. So the basic idea here, the bottom, uh, which is the output of the base network, it's, the feature map is still large. So I can generate small anchor boxes to catch up the small objects. And the, in the top, we, every time we reduce the width and height of the feature map, and we generate slightly larger anchor boxes. So we can try to catch up large objects here. So okay. Um, so then, so the major difference here that we don't need to predict uh, how the anchor boxes are there, and then we, for each uh, pixel, we just generate a bunch of them. So that should make the pipeline much easier. Question. So we're no longer learning like you know, the SR ratio, I mean, or um, the size. Instead, we're just like having these different level of scales, and we just like change the roles. Or I mean, like. Yes, so the thing that we don't have a learning algorithm to predict the anchor box. We just have to pick up the different S1 and R1s so that we can catch up all these different shapes. So these have a parameters. So, we, okay. so I, we're going to show you that how usually we pick up the hyperparameters. 
Uh, but then you see that there's a lot of overlapping. That's true. Uh, we can see how to like make the classifier and the predictor much efficient to handle all these things. Okay, and so that's as SSD. Another one. Uh, so you can see this is the SSD performance. The x-axis is the throughput, number of image per second. The y is the min, uh, is the accuracy you can think about. Um, so you can s well up to the right corner, the better. So you can see that SSD is much faster compared to our fast RCN on uh, the the yellow ones compared to the blue one. Well, the accuracy is okay. Like SSD is two, three years ago, or two, three years ago algorithm. So Euro V3, we're gonna show you a little bit later. Like this is last year. So SSD at that time outperformed fast RCM family a lot on speed. Um, but they sacrificed accuracy, but people still use it at that time. Especially you want to have fast, faster inference. Question. Well, um, both. We're gonna talk about what is um, MAP and letter, right? Okay. So another one is the yellow one. Uh, no, the green one. It's called a Yulo. Uh, you only look once. Like um, yeah, this is kind of uh, from UW. The idea is pretty simple. We will not dive in deep into that family. The idea is like on SSD. All these anchor boxes just highly overlapped. For each pixel, uh, it's nearby pixels, so you generate a bunch of anchor boxes, almost like they're gonna overlap. So for ULO, we don't want so much overlapped uh, anchor boxes. What it do is like, given an input image, given an input feature map, I can divide, evenly divide by S, uh, S rows and by S columns, which you generate S times S, like anchor boxes. So Everyone's not overlapped. Then for each anchor boxes, we're gonna predict the B bounding boxes. Because we reduced a lot of the anchor box, and we have maybe have more bounding boxes, so then for each anchor box, we're gonna predict the B, uh, B usually even larger than one uh, bounding boxes. So that's a basic idea. Uh, that's why it's called you only look for one. That is, you, the anchor boxes we have been not overlapped. I will not go to the detail about like ULO. Um, ULO have a V2, have V3. Basically, uh, ULO V1 is very different to SSD, but V2, very close to SSD. Like fast RCA and all these families, very close to each other. How the, and how to do prediction, how to do class prediction, how to do bounding box prediction, they're very close to each other. And V3 added a lot, a lot of tiny, uh, tiny uh, improvements. But the basic idea, it makes you faster. Okay, so you can see that the ULO, um, the green one, like the up to the right one, uh, which is I think two times, maybe 1.2 times, 1.5 times faster than the uh, tiny SSD, but we can improve the accuracy a lot. 